All right, so I'm on my walk today to get some fresh air, and I like to do some thinking, and uh, address something that I've heard a lot of people say, and it's never really been confirmed or brought up as a rebuttal, and that is that ventriloquism is a dying art. I've been doing ventriloquism since I was six, and I'm almost 20. I'll be 20 in November, so it's a very important thing to me. And I don't like when people bash it. There's a New York Times article that went over the ventriloquist convention in, that was like a couple of years ago, 2018 or something like that. But the whole topic revolved around the fact that it was a dying art. And I thought that's, you know, seems kind of, uh, you know, kind of like the go-to for an article about ventriloquists and ventriloquism. You've got the weirdos. You've got the people that, like, you know, think the puppet's real and all that. But don't say it's a dying art, because it really isn't at all. But you think about it, you do the research, and you find that, you know, Terry Fader won in season, what, two of, of America's Got Talent? Darcy Lynn Farmer won. Uh, a couple years ago, she's a singing ventriloquist. Paul Zerden won America's Got Talent. So America's Got Talent has been keeping ventriloquism alive for a while. Let alone there's cruise ship performers that are ventriloquists, people on land touring comedy clubs. You know, it's a lot... It's just not at all a dying art. The way they see it is they see it as the old vaudevillian thing with the ventriloquist and the hard figure and the, you know, the whole dying art. And then there's Jeff Dunham, who's touring all over the world, has millions of followers and is you know selling out arenas so not really sure that it's a dying art but I mean that does make for a good title when you're trying to captivate an audience why don't you try ventriloquism a dying art and then question mark and then end it with it being not you know versus something that's so cliche as to say that it is and to say that you know it's a weird thing and that you know who knows what's going to become of this weird and, and niche performance art, you know? It's just like, come on. I mean, I, I've got a, a circle of friends that are constantly innovating. They've got really neat ideas. And they're hilarious ventriloquists, and each one of them is different. It's on the decline, or that it was never even popular. You know, it was popular back in vaudeville. It's still popular today. There's different forms of it. People have to check themselves. And, uh, you know, some of it's just, uh, just crazy. But I wanted to do this video because I, I wanted to rant about it because it bothered me. I feel a little bit better about it now because I know that the, those that watch stuff like this know that ventriloquism is still popular. And you might be a fan of it, you might not be. Uh, I certainly don't care for ventriloquism at all. <laughs> no, I, I love ventriloquism, but I do know that it's, uh, it's not a dying art at all. If you enjoyed this video on why ventriloquism isn't a dying art, make sure to su subscribe, turn post notifications on, and follow us at Land Inventing on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and our Facebook page, Landon Harvey Ventriloquist, for more of this weird, wacky, and fun content with me, the characters, and what we do outside of the world of performing. Thanks, guys, and take care.